Now, for more analysis on that story, we're joined live from our Cairo studios by Dr. Abdel Hadi Mezba, a medical consultant in immunology and fellow of the American Academy of Immunology. Now, Dr. Mezba, thank you for joining us. What are your thoughts on this announcement by the Egyptian military that they have found a cure for HIV AIDS? Is it credible? Actually, I can't say it's credible uh, except uh, after I see uh, uh, the scientific details of the experiment itself. Because it's, uh, you, you know, uh, these kinds of uh, inventions or uh, declarations shouldn't be done through media. It should be done in front of the medical community. Uh, who can evaluate uh, what's done? But what I can say is that uh, um, it's, it's actually uh, a, a problematic uh, matter to say it's a cure. We can say, we, yes, we have a, an instrument to uh, diagnose uh, the viremia or the presence of the virus, but to say we have reached to a cure is another story at all. And, and that brings me to my next question. As a specialist, do you think proper scientific procedures were f in, in finding a cure were followed, or was this announcement rushed? Uh, let me explain. Uh, uh, to, to say a cure in um, a disease like AIDS or HIV infection, uh, we have uh, uh, a lot of problems. First of all, uh, uh, we have now uh, uh, several drugs who can suppress uh, the uh, HIV virus and uh, uh, even the PCR which detect the virus or the viral particle itself uh, becomes negative and uh, it's not detected by normal or ordinary uh, procedures. But that doesn't mean that we have eradicated the virus because the virus is um, uh, stored in reservoirs. These reservoirs uh, are uh, uh, including uh, variants uh, which is not replicating so the immune system doesn't have to sense it at all. And, uh, but when we stop the medications, it starts to replicate once again. So we don't uh, interrupt or stop the medications. This is our problem with the virus, is that we cannot stop uh, the, the, the medication because the virus is stored in certain reservoirs, in certain uh, um, uh, places in the body like the brain macrophages, uh, in the spinal fluid, in the uh, monocytes or in the blood. And those are actually uh, uh, are a matter of uh, deceiving uh, when we say it's a cure. Uh, it starts to replicate again. And Dr. Mesba, what so impact... So we don't have actually... Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you, what impact do you think this announcement will have on Egyptians and what are the global implications? Excuse me, would you repeat again? I'm, 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 I want to find out from you what impact you think this announcement will have on Egyptians and what the global implications will be. Uh, I, I don't know actually, but uh, what I have learned uh, is that uh, these kind of declarations should be uh, accredited by uh, the scientific community and the specialists in this matter. And uh, 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 of course, the, the army um, has uh, a lot of uh, facilities and uh, and uh, equipments uh, which can uh, uh, make them do scientific researches. But uh, uh, when we declare that we reach to something concrete like uh, curing AIDS or HIV, that's another uh, issue which should be supported by scientific evidence. All right. Thanks very much for joining us, Dr. Abdel Hadi Mezbalaitia in Cairo.